let's hear the final track. Here's a sample. So that's just a small section of the song. I actually sampled the full song. So I'll be taking small bits of the song to make the beat. So the first thing I did, I pitched it down. So now we have this. So that's what we're going to be working with today. I'll be going through the song to find the pieces I want to use. So let's get some drums. So what I have in mind is kind of like a bounce. So my starting tempo is going to be 156 BPM. I'm going to be using cut time. So now we're just going to give the drums a quick edit. Now let's start looking for the chops. to go a little faster on the drums. So I'm going to have to make it a 10 bar loop. I just need more space for the samples. So I'm going to copy and paste the drums. So now I'm just going to add some hi-hats. another idea and I think we have to go to the studio for that. So we're back to the high frequency studios. Earlier you watched me start creating a beat on the MPC. Now we're going to dump what we created on the MPC into Logic. So I took the ideas I had started on the MPC into Logic. A little things changed but the foundation stayed. So let's take a listen. So the drums changed a little bit. Let's take a listen to how they sound now. It's not that big of a difference. The hi-hat is not as busy, but it works with the sample. So let's take a listen to the sample. So that's the sample. What I did, I just added effects to it. This is what it sounds like with the effects.
It's not that big of a difference, but it gives a character. And once we add all the elements into it, it's going to give us better cohesive sounds. Let's take a listen to how it sounds with the drums. So that is how it sounds with the drums. Next, I found another sample to layer over that. And it's this sample right here. So that's a sample. Let's see how it sounds with the beat. Then I found this other sample, which is this sample right here. So I added that at the end of the loop. Then I found another sample I liked. This is how it sounds. It's not much, but when you add effects to it, it gives it a better sound. So this is how it sounds with the effects. Let's take a listen to it with the beat. So after that, I worked on the intro. For the intro, I added this part of the song. So again, we have a sound going. So to add to that sound, I added the effect to the intro. Let's take a listen. So now that we have all the elements all together, this is how it sounds with all the effects on the samples. Something I could do is EQ the sample, take the low end out of it. Let's see how that sounds. So that already sounds a lot better. The next issue is this sample right here. Add some effect to it. Now we added the effect to the last piece of the sample. Let's see how it sounds. So now let's hear the final track. Thank you for tuning in and watching how I make beats. This is not how I make beats all the time, but sometimes this is what it takes. I hope you enjoyed it and got inspired. Thank you for watching and till next time.